So Brian Abana is a name that is so synonymous with this ground and with the DHL Stormers. Tell me about your favourite memories at this ground. Um, is there any from before you played here? There are so many. I think first of all as a fan I'll never forget watching my first ever live game of Springbok Rugby. 1995 my dad took me on a road trip down to Cape Town. Wow. I got my face painted in the church just down the road here and got to experience grown men cry. Um, Peter Hendricks scoring in that corner, Joel Stransky scoring in front of me back there and you know those memories sort of started inspiring a boy who had absolutely no idea what rugby was. Didn't and was named after a footballer. And was hoping <laughs> to be a football export into the Premiership being named after Brian Robson and Gary Bailey but those memories as a fan and getting to experience that but I think for me one of the memories I will forever hold close to my heart is post 2007 going on a trophy tour around the country and seeing what that meant but ending that trophy tour in Cape Town mm -hmm. at this stadium bus parade in the Jan was I'm not gonna lie it was at about this corner right here where one of the most incredible experiences in my life ever <laughs> happened um, I had Bull in my hand Bull is the Rugby World Cup and yeah that happened um, <laughs> the lid fell off the cup sat in my hand but you can see Newlands packed to the rafters. And I think for me, that is sort of, you know, people celebrating their heroes at this iconic stadium. DHL Newlands being incredible. So pretty cool memory that. That's some serious technique right there. That is, that is, um, I, I do take, take a lot of credit for holding that cup and not letting it go, so. Um. He, well, not letting half of it go. Most <laughs> of it was still there.